Hi everyone! In this video, let's study the working principle of an external combustion engine. This is an external combustion engine worth only a few dollars. The engine kit was packaged quite well and had all the accessories inside and has instructions in English and Chinese. Three cylinders included, two spares. This is the big piston, the power piston. The piston and cylinder are not tightly fitted together. There is a gap between them, the purpose of which is to allow her to circulate back and forth. On the shaft there are two fly heels, a large flywheel and a small flywheel. Each flywheel has one fixed pin and two pins arranged at 90 degrees apart.
When the cylinder is not heated, the main piston moves but the auxiliary piston remains stationary. Now let's warm up the master cylinder and see what happens. Please wait a moment for the cylinder to warm up. Please pay attention. Miraculously, the slave piston moved with the master piston. Miraculously, the slave piston moved with the master piston. They move in the same direction and at the same speed. Now let the cylinder cool down and see what happens. As the cylinder cools down the air inside will decrease in temperature and the slave piston will no longer move with the main piston. When the cylinder is warmed up again, the auxiliary piston moves with the main piston again. Now let's install the slave piston onto the flywheel. When the two wheel pins are installed at a 90 degree angle, and the air of the two cylinders is different, we will force the small piston to move out of alignment with the main piston. At that time, two hot and cold air streams onto pistons will move back and forth, forcing the two pistons. Thank you for watching the video. Please share and subscribe to the channel to watch more useful videos. In the next video, I will make a similar engine.